Welcome to the Inspector tutorial. This tutorial is going to introduce the Inspector window and tell you about how it works. To begin with, I've created a simple scene here with a plane, a cube, and of course the main camera. All of my objects can also be seen in the game view here and you'll notice that the cube is hardly visible. That's because there's no light source in the scene. So I'll go ahead and create a light source. So I go into Game Objects, Create Other, Point Light. This will create a point light that gets placed in the game scene. and we can see the effects of that in the game view immediately. Now let's take a closer look at the point light object we just added. We can do this over here in the inspector view, where we get a detailed view of that particular object and the components it's composed of. So a point light object has a transform, which specifies the position, rotation and scale of the object and it has a light component which is actually the part that makes this object behave as a light source. If I choose another object in the hierarchy view like the main camera, plane or the cube, the inspector changes to reflect the components that the new object is composed of. Let's go back to the point light. Down here are some properties I can change. For example, the range of the light. I can make it have a range of only 5 meters. And that makes the game view change immediately to show the new range. I can also click here and drag in order to get this value changed. And in both game view and scene view, we see the effects of this immediately. Some of the values over here are of course not numbers. For example, here's a color, which allows me to change the color value of this object. And again, the effects are immediately updated in the game view. The inspector view of the various components also have a reset option, which I can access by right-clicking on the components. By clicking reset, the component will reset to factory settings. This also goes for transforms, which can be reset to position, scale and rotation independently. In this case, it just resets the position to 000, rotation 000, scale 111. 